Hey everybody, new video here on Replo and how to use Replo to create your land pages. It's a great tool, especially if you're on Shopify because that's where it actually works really well. Um, it's native, it is extremely fast. You can bang out landing pages in no time. You can use templates, means you don't really have to start from scratch, which is by the way, the hack that I really wanna show you. But if you need to start from scratch, you don't have to be a designer, you don't have to be super good. Uh, with layers and all these different things, even though it's there, it's so much easier. So I'll just show that to you. And by the way, uh, I pre-recorded the video of how I do everything because otherwise I found that I drift off super quickly and the videos are like 30 minutes each. So this is just a bit more compressed and I'm just gonna do a commentary over what, I, what I'm actually doing inside a replo. So anyway, let's play the video. You can see here we're starting with a bland canvas and we're not we don't have anything here. That's how you see the standard layout of Replow when you start and you don't have anything. But then you can obviously easily add in templates, which is the hack that you really wanna do. So you click on new page and then you can click blank page, but you can also click on all the different templates and there are tons of them in there and they're all from super high-end brands, Athletic Greens, Bombas, uh, so many other ones. These are awesome. So the, the stuff is already in there, the trick is know how to customize it, right? So I chose a template now, I'm just gonna write demo. And then I can pick in here in the Shopify theme layout if I want to have you know, an announcement bar or if I wanna have a header or footer. Uh, lots of times on landing pages, you don't wanna have a header or footer because you want them to go through your funnel. You don't want them to actually go on the about page and all these other things. So in for this particular case, we're gonna go without the header and footer, um, but you can go with anything you want. And sometimes you only want the footer because you want a privacy page in there and stuff like that, which is fine because legally these things are important to have as well. So I'll just click create page and it loads this beautiful template and you can see there's all these different things and now it loads different layers and there's pages and containers. It can be a bit overwhelming on the right side here. You see all the tools you can use inside, um, but you will find that it's super, super intuitive and easy to use. So for example, if I wanted to change any of the text on the page, I can click on the text and it will automatically load the right container. And then I can then change the font size and all these different things. And you can see there's columns, there's spacing, there's padding and all that stuff. Um, but we will be looking at how to add different things as well. This is just to give you an overview. Let's say you want to add testimonials on your actual uh, page. You can do that. And you can just find any of the testimonial modules here and you can click on it and you can click add to page and it will actually load all that up with predefined containers. And look at this, so easy to do. Obviously it's a bit raw. I could style the font. I could change the size of the font. You know, I'm going 20 pixels here and I could find any font that matches my website so that the landing page has the same Google font, right? Which is important. Like you always wanna use Google fonts because it loads faster. So that's just a little web speed hack that I really can recommend to you. Uh, the name here, I could add that and make it much bigger if I wanted to. I could change the color if I wanted to. So as you can see, it's not really difficult. Everything is kind of preloaded. And I recommend that if you're not very, very good with these things, you're not a designer, go with templates throughout the page. Even if you're building from scratch, go with the library and then go and do that. But anyway, uh, for the sake of this exercise, we are going to be uh, starting from a blank canvas here because I actually wanna teach you how you can use Replo even if you don't have a template. Maybe there's nothing in there that actually fits what you wanna do. So I'm gonna practice. And then I'm gonna choose a, to hide the footer and the header. And look at that, just blank canvas. And from here on, I can add in um, a component which is what you want to do is you want to add a container to start with. A container is basically uh, what allows you to build. And we'll go through that in the next videos, how you're going to work from uh, these containers uh, because you will obviously want to add more stuff to it later on. But anyway, this was just a first video, quick intro. We'll take it to the next level in the next video.